Hello, YouTube. I am back with another video today. Uh, I wanted to share with you all a, uh, a single number strategy that I use from time to time. Uh, in the case that some of you out there like that type of thing, um, it sort of takes advantage of uh, this, the same, I guess you could call it the law of thirds, but the same phenomena that my last video uh, about the numbers don't lie strategy takes advantage of. And that's just that the numbers tend to repeat quickly. In this case, we're just going to be playing a single number. So we're going to try to take advantage of the of the, of the back-to-backs, basically. Like you can see here, the last two uh, numbers that came out were 10. That's what we're taking advantage of. And those tend to group together, um, which is why I'm going to be using a positive progression. And there's going to be a, an aggressive and a conservative version of it, which I'll explain further later. Um, I was actually just playing a session, practice session before I started, um, before I started the video. And these were the results, 160 units of profit. So we'll go ahead and reset that for the video. Um, again, we're going to be playing the last number that came out every spin, because that's what we're trying to take advantage of these, uh, of the duplicates or whatever, the back-to-backs. Um, if, and we're going to be playing in groups of 35. Um, so... You're going to start off with betting one unit. So let's just start off and start on the 10. We're going to give it 35 chances to win. All right. So let's just go for it here. So again, I'm just putting one unit on the last number that comes out, looking for the repeat. And I'm going to keep doing that for 35 times in a row or until I win, and then I'll explain the next move. You can keep track of the session stats down here. So currently we've made eight bets. We've lost all of them, so we're down eight. So there we got our first hit. We're up 25. Um... So at this point, once you get a hit, if you are not close to your session high, then you would add a unit and do the same thing again. Um, but since we are, since this is a new session high for us, we won't do that. We'll stay at one. Stay at one unit, that is. So I'll just mark this is 25 minus 35. So minus 10 is when I would make make my next move because I'll be 35 losses in a row. Um, and I'll just go ahead and say it now, but we'll see an example of it. If you go through all 35 and you lose, you immediately go to zero, meaning you're going to sit out. Um, so you're, you're reducing on losses, basically. We're going to reduce from one unit to zero. So you'll sit out until the repeat happens, and then you'll start again. But we'll see an example of that. So let's just keep going. Okay, so we got another hit right there. So you can see how they, they just this quickly, we've only made 13 uh, bets, but they tend to clump together. with The repeats like this, they, they the one-to-one, -one. they don't always come back-to-back -back like this, obviously, but they do tend to clump together, which is why you can take advantage of that with a, with a nice positive, like a parlay progression, uh, which is what we're going to do. Um, so the two, the two, I'll go ahead and explain the, the aggressive version and the conservative version. So the aggressive version is that even when you win, you still parlay, you still go up, you know, it's not necessarily a full parlay, but you still go up a unit. So in the aggressive version, basically you would just set a profit target and you would just continue to go up, um, up when you win until you hit that profit target, but you would still go back down to, to zero if you had a series of 35 where you didn't win. The conservative version is um, you would stop increasing. That's the version I'm going to play. You would stop increasing if you were uh, near session high. So if I was playing the aggressive version, and let's say my profit target was 200, I would, I would add another unit. So we'd actually be at three units now. Uh, but I, I prefer the conservative version. It's up to you. So now our new high is 59. Minus 35. So this is the number I'm going to be looking to stop at if we go down. Okay, we almost hit our 35 without the hit, but we got it towards the end there with the repeats on the 7. So now we're at 64. So all I'm doing here is I'm just subtracting 35 from my high, both so I can remember what my high was, and I know when my profit drops down to 29, that's when I need to stop. That's all I'm doing there with my calculator. Okay, so again, I'm demonstrating the conservative version. If y'all want, I can do a separate video where I demonstrate the aggressive version. But basically, you're just pressing your you're just pressing your bets continually higher until either you hit your profit target or you hit a series of 35 where you don't get a win. All right, so we'll just keep it going. So I'm looking 29, yeah. Oh, shoot. Messed that up. That's right, it wasn't a win anyways. Thank goodness. Okay, so we got another one there, the repeats on the 27. 
I'll go in here and mark my new high again. Subtract 35 so I know where to stop. And keep going. So again, the conservative version, the only time I'm going to increase from 1 to 2 or above is if, I'm, if I get a win and I'm not uh, close to my session high. That hasn't happened to us yet on this session, but hopefully it will so I can show you that. An example of that. Try to go fast here so we can get through a good number of spins. That way it's a good sample size. Keep track of how many spins we've gone through right here so far, 81. All right, I forgot my number, 41, okay. All right, got another hit there. You see, I see it's on a run now, and this is what this whole design is, is trying to take advantage of, uh, and it's sort of suited for because they do tend to clump together. And then you'll go, you know, you know it'll eventually get cold, um, but you'll be somewhat protected from that because if we miss a series of 35, we'll, we just won't bet. We go our bet goes down to zero, which is you know effectively a no bet. So we're gaining exposure on the on the on the clumps, which happen, and reducing our exposure on the cold spots. So 94 is a new high, 35, 59. All right, so let's keep going. Get some more spins in. Ten minutes into the nine minutes into the video. Hopefully I can get at least 200 spins on. Let's see. Without taking too much time. All right, I forgot my number again. 59. Okay, so that was our first losing set there. We went through 35 spins without a win. So now we will just uh, sit out until until we get a repeat. So I'm just going to be back long. Okay, so we finally got another repeat. So that cold that cold uh, streak ended, and that's the point of that whole design is to keep you out of the you know keep the player out of the big long cold streaks. All right, so session high was 94, so we'll be looking to get back close to that. I don't I don't necessarily try to hit or exceed it, but as long as I'm close to it, I'll go ahead and reset. But for now, I need to know what my minus 35 is. So 24, and now I'll be uh, one unit. So let's see how we go. Okay, so then we, we just got another losing set, so we'll sit out once again, wait for the wait for that streak to end. Okay, finally that one ended. That was another long one, so we'll jump back into the fray here. All right, let's hope this is the start of another good, strong run.
Okay, so we finally got a hit right there. Unfortunately, it was towards the end, so we didn't get much profit out of that. Um, so this is the point where we, at which we would knock it up to, to two because we just got a win within our 35 spins, and we are not near session high, which is 94. Not even minus 70, since we're on two units. That's what we're looking for. All right, so let's go. Hopefully, we get a streak here and we can bounce back. Let's see. Okay, so there we got a hit on the another hit there on the 30, the repeat 30. Now we're back up to 47, still not close enough to the uh, session high for me. So now time to go up to three units. Okay, so 105, so 47 minus 105. Okay, we just need this run to continue. Probably one more hit and we'll be there. So that was a losing session, unfortunately. So now we have to wait for this to end. Okay, it ends right there with 25. So that was another loser. Okay, we're back. Down 98. first one there up to two Okay, now up to three. Whoops. Okay, 
nice. We needed that. We got a quick hit. So you can see, if you're playing the conservative way like I am here, it's a, it can be a grind if things are going really slow. But as soon as you get a nice run started, you catch back up really quickly. You can just see just that quickly. I'm already back up 39. We're still not at the high yet, so we're going to keep going, obviously. But just to show you, I mean, this has been a this has been you know challenging me, but. I mean, we, so far we haven't been down that much, and you can catch up really quickly. So let's see if we can keep keep the run going here. So 28, so we'll be on four now. So 39 minus 40. Yeah, okay, just like that. You see how quickly we came back with a little patience, and this is... Um, this is just the conservative version. You don't have to, it's a little bit, it's quite a bit more risk if you play the aggressive way, but um, you know, you don't have to wait as long. This way, even though that threw a really nasty cold streak at us, we were only really ever down, I don't remember, maybe 150, 140, something like that. And then as soon as that nice clump of wins came together, boom, very quickly came back and, um, you know, zoomed over our session high to a to plus 159. Um, so that was actually a good, that was a better sort of example of the, of the strategy than I'd hope. Usually when I make these videos, it just ends up being a, uh, a really good session and so you don't you know you don't see the challenging part so this is good you saw you saw you saw one where it kind of pushed and uh, so you saw kind of how it performs it's, it's pretty good it's pretty fun um you can really you can use whatever progression you want the, the, the idea is just to take advantage of the of the repeaters that tend to clump together um so we made we spun 523 times so i mean a lot of that was waiting for the streaks to end but still that's a pretty good i think a decent sample size for a session so anyway that's uh i don't know what to call this but that's a single number strategy that i play from time to time and i just want to share it with you all hope you liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up